Hello, I am back. I have three more packages today. Um, I'm feeling a little under the weather, so if my reactions are a little dull, that is why. Um, but I will soldier on. So this first card here is an Andrew Heaney with an annoying, oh, actually, I see what he did there. He folded it, so that's easy to get off. That is much appreciated, and it is very smart. Um, yeah, this is coming off well. Okay. So this card, it, uh, it's an Andrew Heaney from Stadium Club. It is, I think, an on-card auto. Yes, yeah, that's on-card. And um, this card must be pretty old because he's playing for the Marlins here. 14. Um, I guess this is, he's still in the minors, but it's a second year card. It's not his draft year. Um, this card, it's shipped in this tiny envelope. This is like the tiniest envelope you could possibly use, but it did ship free, and I think it was like $2.70, $2.70. Um, $2 um, so this guy picked up, I was kind of like, why not? Like Andrew Heaney, you know, he's injured all the time, but. And he's 27 or 28 or something now. He's he's not really young anymore, but he is he's good when he plays, you know. Um, we'll see what happens with him. This is a nice card. Um, it's another nice card from Stadium Club. No surprises there. Um, ooh, almost knocked over the camera there. Um, all right, and so this next one. Ooh. Okay, so this came from uh, Meyerberg's cards. These are two Bowman Chrome autos. Um, start with this one. This is a Stephen Drew, um, first year Bowman Draft auto. It's from a uh, 2005 set. Um, it's labeled five dollars. This card was five dollars, um, which you know I felt I felt that was good price. Stephen Drew, you know, not a a great player but he was a good player and I did like Stephen Drew um, and he was like a he was like a, a major rookie he was a major prospect back in his day um, and I, I love these these Bowman Chrome autos they they do demand a bit of a premium um, in terms of in the baseball card world and at first I was kind of put off by that but after looking around at cards for a while and buying a lot of different cards I, I think it's worth the premium I think they're just cool um, especially when they're just like a headshot like this. I really like that for some reason. It has like a very um, retro vibe to it. Um, and uh, I think these cards just age really, really well. Um, so that's a fun one. I think Steven Drew just retired this year. Um, and the second one is the the main one from this shipment. This is, you know, I, I sought out this card and I just kind of tacked a Drew onto the order for the combined shipping, but... This is a Matt Bush from 2004 Bowman Draft. Um, I've mentioned this set before, and I, I think this is like probably my favorite set ever th this year. Um, it's just very nostalgic for me. Um, the set's very nostalgic, and I, I want to get all the autos, um, the Chrome autos from, from 2004 Bowman Draft. And this is one of the more exciting ones, the Matt Bush. Um, this card, I think, is is super cool I, I i think this card is sick and and um has a sticker here for eight dollars i think i i might have paid that as well I'm, I'm not sure um there are a few of these around ebay for around the same price um and uh yeah i talked about matt bush in in a previous video with one of his other cards i much prefer this card um and i'm really pleased with that one and uh, I believe this last card is another card from that set. And it's a big one, yep. So this is, oh wow. This is the Homer Bailey from the 2004 Bowman Draft um, Chrome Auto set. And um, it's a PSA 10. Um, and I think this is probably the coolest card in the coolest set. Um, I think this is the one I was most excited about. Homer Bailey was kind of like the biggest name at, right, at, right at the time of the draft. 
Um, him and Phil Hughes, Houston Street, they were all pretty big. Um, and then Matt Bush as well. And um, Homer Bailey, you know, he he threw two no-hitters in his career. Um, but his career ERA is, you know, well over four. He's had a lot of ups and downs. Um, he's still pitching. He had a good start, actually, just last week. Um, but he always seems like a guy who's just, you know, one pitch away from going back to the DL. I, I suppose, I mean, that, that's kind of everybody that's harsh, but he spent a lot of time on the DL um, over the past few years. Um, but this card still... It, is super exciting to me. I, I, this was a card that was like very aspirational when I was a kid. To get an antenna is really cool as well. Um, you know, this is a set. It's a chrome finished card with black borders, so I, I don't imagine it's super easy to grade a ten. The card has to be perfect. Um, and uh, this card, um, it was listed at twenty five dollars, and I put in a bit of, uh, I made an offer of. Eleven dollars and it was accepted and it was four dollars shipping, so it was a fifteen dollar card and I think that made it actually the cheapest um, of these Homer Bailey uh, Bone Chrome autos on eBay and and this one's a ten and the other ones were so I was fine spending that on this card um, for you know an, an important card from my childhood um, and a card that I think is really cool um, and uh, I don't I don't really see it ever being that much cheaper um, as a 10. So um, anyway, I'm kind of rambling on now. There are a lot more cards still in the mail, actually. Um, hopefully we'll be doing another video tomorrow with, with really quite a few cards. So I'll see you then. Cheers. Hello, I'm back with more cards. We have two packages today. Um, today is Thursday. Thursday to you. So here's another package from Jennings Family Business. Um, I buy a ton of stuff from these guys. Their prices are really good. Um, let's see what we got here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did buy three cards. Okay, so the first one here is a Mitch Keller from Bowman's Best. Um, if you remember in the last video or one of the other videos, I got a a Mitch Keller from High Tech, I think from the same seller actually. And then these two were a lot. Um, I think it was $5.99. I don't think those are seen in here. But again, it was another like two Mitch Keller on card autos for like two bucks a card or three bucks a card. And um, I thought that was totally worth it. I'm stocking up on this guy a little bit. His stuff's really underpriced considering he's a, a top 20 prospect and like the third best pitching prospect in baseball or something like that. Um, this is an interesting card. It's, um, from Leaf Trinity. It's see-through. It's called Clear. Um, it's a shame there's no licensing on Leaf products because I, I do like their cards. Um, the other one, this was just a Bowman's Best. This one's nothing too special, but I like these. Bowman's Best and High Tech Autos are really good value. They're, they're not expensive because um, they're not numbered. And the last one here is, this one was a little more expensive. This was like $6.30, I think, um, plus shipping, this this Brendan McKay. Um, Brendan McKay is um, one of the, the more hyped up prospects at the moment. He, you can see here, is listed at first base and pitcher. Uh, he's playing two ways right now, but I think this guy's probably gonna be a, they're gonna specialize him as a pitcher. Um, you can see here's left-hander. Um, I think he the draft him out of college. He went to Louisville, if I'm not mistaken. Um, plays for the Rays. The, the Rays have a ton of talent in their farm system. I'm really excited about the team the Rays are putting together and the rotation they're putting together. Um, this is from Bowman's Best on Cardado. Um, he's throwing in this uh, card, which I like, because he's hitting in a lot of his other cards. And, and I collect pitchers more. Um, my second package came in this cube, uh, which is very unconventional. I've never received one of these plastic cubes. This is a big lot of cards. Um, and you can see here, the, the cards were held in with like a napkin and the napkin like has like pizza on it, which is pretty gross. Um, the price was good on this. And if the cards are in good shape, then whatever. I'm not gonna complain about it. Um, so 
And strangely, he didn't put the best cards in the middle. Um, put them on the top. Um, they look fine though. Um, this is a lot of Phil Hughes cards. I don't like this cube. And um, I picked up this lot because of, yeah, the second card there. Um, I mentioned the 2004 Bowman Draft uh, Chrome Autos and Phil Hughes is one of those. And that was one of the, the three I really wanted the most um, along with the Homer Bailey and the Matt Bush. And I think that the Hughes cards were selling for like 10 or 15, maybe like maybe like 13 or $15 um, by themselves. And I got this whole lot for 10. So it was the cheapest way to get the card I wanted. And there were a bunch of extras in it. Um, it also came with this auto. I think there are only two autos in this, but this one's from Bowman Sterling. It's a sticker auto. Um, and uh, it's, you know, I was, I didn't buy this lot for this card. I bought it for this card. So um, uh, this is cool to see. And it looks like it's in okay shape. Um, it's quite good shape. Um, Phil Hughes was like one of my favorite players, um, mostly because of that that magazine, the, the Beckett magazine that I've mentioned in, in past videos. And this was one of like the the best cards in that magazine, you know, Phil Hughes was, um, there were really high expectations for him. He was a Yankee, which helps. And, um, this is a, a beautiful card along with the bay. It's like just a headshot. I think that's super classy. Um, nice bold auto here and, uh, like matches the Jersey. I think this card looks fantastic. I'm looking forward to getting this into a sleeve and, uh, into a top loader. Phil Hughes, I think, just retired. Uh, this year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, all right, so then we got a bunch more Hughes base cards. We'll go through them pretty quick. So we've got a ton of these from Bowman. I think I had this card um, when I was a kid. So I got a lot of these. <laughs> oh, this is cool, actually. This card's... Got some surface issues there. I'm not sure what that's all about. Um, this is cool because it's a it's a game worn patch from Futures Game, and I like game worn stuff, um, especially when it's from a specific game. And I dig the Futures Game. I'm this card's a nice surprise. I I forgot this was in the lot. Um, put that over there. And then we have a uh, Bowman Chrome Hughes from that same set. This is an interesting one. What is this? Just? Just memory, just minors. Minor league baseball from just memorabilia. This must have been like a, if you went to like a Gulf Coast League game that you could, you could get these cards or something like that. That's pretty cool as well, actually. Another, another nice surprise. This is a cool card. Top's Prospect, Phil Hughes. I don't think I had this one, and this is a nice looking card. That's a classic Phil Hughes card. Another one of these Bowman ones, and our just, here's Heritage, I guess. Um, it's kind of a funny looking card. It looks like colorized or something, which I'm not too into. Here's Top's Chrome, nice. Another card from Heritage, that's a good one. Bowman Heritage Chrome, kind of neat. It's a mini. That's cool. Oh, this one's cool. Alan Ginter. I like that. Tops. Tricky Red. Tricky Red. I'm not into Tricky Red. Um, it's kind of like fake classic look. I'm just not into it. Ooh, this one's cool. This one's from SP. This one's nice. This is from SP. It's a parallel. It's orange. I guess it's not. I guess that's just the base. Heritage. Ooh. This is like a futures game card. That's nice. Protect Star Rookies. Yeah, pretty meh design on that one. It's 
Australia. That's nice. Very shiny. Heritage. Heritage. Upper deck. Really sharp. Upper deck. It's a shame upper deck is limited to just hockey now. Because their designs were always nice. Flare Ultra. I Flare Ultra is very nostalgic for me. I don't have any Flare Ultra baseball, but I was really into a specific set of, of Flare Ultra football. I don't remember which year it was, but I remember I'd go to the card shop and pick them up like one at a time <laughs> over like the course of a year because I loved them. And this is cool to see. I've, I've never seen this card before. Um, let's see anyone. Uh, tops. I guess this is a gold parallel. Oh, it's actually numbered. It's numbered 2007. That's fun. Flare Base, I think I remember that set, but I didn't have that card. Here's Bowman Heritage, the TV cards. Not wild about the TV design. I, I think that one didn't age particularly well. Um, upper Deck, Cy Young Prospects, not quite, unfortunately. Um, upper Deck, ooh, this is a beautiful card. UD Masterpieces, it's like a canvasy card with the green borders, which, I think look great. It's one of my favorite ones. Another one of these. And here's, I guess, the base of the UD Masterpieces. It's cool. I like the long socks as well. And here we have these. These are just all tops. And we have three of these, and another year of tops. That was actually a lot of fun. I enjoyed going to his Phil Hughes cards. Sorry if it was kind of boring. I should have, like, 30 cards coming in from Comsey tomorrow. I was hoping to get them today, but... We'll see him tomorrow, hopefully. Until then, bye-bye.